Today's prospective guest was born and raised in Damascus before she then set up her easel in London three years ago. Sarah Shama has used various mediums in her career, ranging from ballpoint pen to gouache, to create a series of powerful portraits. Her latest exhibition, Modern Slavery, is currently on show at the Arcade at King's College London. She joins us now live from the uh, British capital. Uh, Sarah, thank you so much for being with us here on uh, France 24. Uh, we have to, I think, begin with a question about the recent fighting which has broken out in uh, northern Syria with the Turkish offensive. What is your own take on that? And what are you hoping for? I don't, <clears throat> I don't accept it at all. And I don't accept any country that uh, take uh, advantage from any other countries. And uh, this is too bad. And uh, I can't say anything else than that. OK, let's move on now to your current solo exhibition in the UK, which, of course, examines uh, violence against women and slavery. Uh, talk us through, if you can, uh, what visitors uh, at King's College London can expect from the works on show. Uh, we are expecting all kinds of visitors, visitors who are in, uh, interested in arts and a lot of students and also visitors who are interested in the psychology and in uh, humanitarian work as well. And also uh, we are organizing a special private view for the victims that I've met who, ha who had experienced uh, uh, trafficking in this uh, country, in the UK. What is the main message from the, from the works that are on show? What are you trying to convey? Uh, I think uh, I would like to shed light on this uh, subject, on modern slavery subject, because it's a huge subject. It is affecting 40 million people so far. And I don't think that there's enough uh, information about it. So hopefully art will communicate with the viewers on a, a personal level to uh, deliver this uh, huge uh, fact. Now talk us through, if you will, your painting style and just how you work and how is it, uh, how is it possible or how easy is it to paint what many would describe as being a, a rather painful subject? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's very, because I am very much interested in this subject, so it's easy to paint this kind of subject because it's something that uh, touched me a lot. And uh, in this uh, exhibition, I didn't paint the women themselves. I just paint the feeling behind the stories that I've heard from these women. Because I've done a meeting with uh, several women in the UK who has been experienced trafficking. Uh, and I've listened to their stories and I was inspired by everything they said. So I just painted the feeling behind it. And why did you decide to become an artist in the first place? What need does painting fulfill for you personally? Uh, it's part of me. It's something uh, I become artist naturally. I was very young when I started to paint and I didn't choose to become artist. It just shows in me and uh, I can't live without it at all. It's like eating, like breathing for me art. Now, you were in your 30s when the uh, civil war broke out in your homeland in Syria. How has the conflict, if at all, changed you as an artist? Uh, it's changed me as a human being, of course. It changed every Syrian person. And of course, it changed me as an artist. I think it reflects on my work when I did, when I've done uh, an exhibition here in London several years ago. And I called it uh, World Civil War Portraits. And this exhibition was mainly about the war. So in that case, I think it affects me. And also uh, rethinking about life again and again after, OK, I didn't experience the real war because it, did, it didn't affect me. I haven't lost any child or any uh, loved ones. But it affects everyone, of course. So it's a life changing. This, the whole experience of war is really life changing. So it will reflect eventually on art. Now, here on France 24, we tend to talk about the war in Syria as having a, a massive civilian uh, toll on the, the population there. But just how badly has the art scene in Syria been affected by the conflict? Uh, when the conflict started, the art scene was really badly affected because 
many art galleries stopped and a lot of artists, they uh, left the country. And also many of them, they stayed in the country as well, a lot of my friends. But uh, a lot of artists, they went to uh, Europe, to the Gulf area, to other Arab countries, and they continued their career there. So in a way, uh, th this war uh, spread the, the artist all over the world and it's little, it spread a little bit the Syrian artist or art scene, sorry, all over the world. So it is good in a way for the art scene, but it's also very bad in another way. Now, is it fair to say that, that you, of course, left Syria for the British capital where you now live and work? But clearly, I'm presuming that the civil war is still with you every day. Yes, sure, of course. But I think now, hopefully, the war is uh, calming and it stopped. And I always go to Damascus since the war started. So I always go to Damascus every three or two months. And uh, hopefully life will become again in Damascus. And I started to see some hope in this country, in my country. OK, Sarah Sharma joining us there from London. Thank you very much for being with us here on France 24.